Recursion is an essential technique in programming, but if you're new to it, it can be very, very complicated. Now, in this short series of lessons, I want to get through the complexities to make it easy to understand how to write uh, your own recursive functions in whichever programming language you prefer. I start off by looking at simple recursion in the C and Ruby languages, two very different languages, and show how recursion works in exactly the same way there. And later on, I'll be showing how to translate those recursive functions into C Sharp. That's Microsoft's language for the .NET framework. But if you're using some other language, if you're using Python or Java or, or Pascal, well, if you follow this course, I'll show you how recursion works, and you can then translate it into whichever language you happen to be using. Now, this course is not as detailed as my book on recursion or on my complete uh, course on recursion on the Bitwise Courses site, but it will explain all you need to know to understand the fundamentals of recursion and to write your own recursive functions. Now, if you've never used recursion, let me just define what it is. Recursion is, uh, it describes the ability of a function to call itself. So instead of one function calling another function, th the same function calls itself. And that's useful in lots of different places when you want to repeat the same action that's coded in that function. For example, uh, if you're writing a disk backup program or something that counts the number of files in a disk directory, well, when it encounters a subdirectory, it wants to do that uh, function, it wants to run that same function all over again to count the files in the subdirectory. So the function just calls itself to do that. And if it finds another subdirectory, the function calls itself yet again. Now, as I say, this can seem quite difficult to understand at first, but let's start breaking through the, the complexity by explaining how a very simple recursive function works, and for that, move on to the next video.